I mean, for me personally, it's been my way of life for 34 years now, but there's always something special about like this leading up to opening day. You know, to, to see an empty ballpark and visualize what it's gonna be like around nine o'clock on opening night, you know, when it's packed and people are screaming and yelling. New memories will be made tonight in this old stadium. The stadium, the Diamond's been here a long time. A lot of memories made here. And it seems like we talk about this every year, but for the first time, we may be getting a new stadium. This time, we have to get it right. We have to get it right, and I feel confident that we will. Investors are putting what's reported to be nearly $2.5 billion into what will be called the Diamond District. And the jewel in this ring of new retail, apartments, restaurants, and more is a new stadium by the 2025 season. The Squirrels have wanted a new stadium for years, but recent developments make it more of a necessity. During COVID, Major League Baseball took over the minor leagues. A lot of the work that MLB is requiring is because of changing times in our industry. We have female coaches now. We have female umpires now. That never has happened you know, previously, so we need female locker rooms. The stadium has made temporary upgrades to reach other league mandates and passed a safety inspection, but it's approaching 40 years old. Major League Baseball seems to be forcing the team and the city to look to the future.